The SI72XX demo kit uses an EFM32 Happy Gecko board which is programmed for the evaluation of six different types of hall sensors. The SI7201 Hall Effect switch is a very sensitive and low power device. It only has three pins, power, ground, and an output that goes high or low in response to a magnetic field. It only consumes 0.4 microamps on average and is sensitive to a field of one millitesla or less. As you bring the magnet close, you will see the output go from high to low when the magnet is about two centimeters away. If an unusually strong magnetic field is detected, this indicates an intruder might be trying to override or tamper with the sensor. If the magnet is about half a centimeter away, you can see that the output pin goes back high, which is a door open or trouble indication. For a simple three pin switch, we cannot tell if the alarm is due to the door opening or a tamper event. The next demonstration uses the same menu selection, but uses the SI7202 latch. A latch has an output that will go one way with a positive field and then back the other way with a negative field. As the magnet is moved close to the postage stamp with north up, the output goes high. As the sensor moves close to the magnet with north down, the output goes low. This kind of sensor could be used for sensing the end of travel for a long range of motion, like a garage door going up and down. This kind of sensor is also useful for counting events corresponding to a magnetic field varying, positive, and negative. The SI7210 is a five pin sensor that adds the capability of reading the sensor data with I2C protocol as well as configuring the on-off thresholds of the output pin. As in the previous demo, the output pin is low with the magnet far away. The output goes high as the magnet is moved closer to the sensor, and as the magnet is brought even closer to the output pin, it goes back low, and the MCU reads the magnetic field data and determines if the tamper event has occurred. The SI72XX family of devices includes devices that output the tamper indication on a separate pin, so I2C is not required to be able to distinguish a tamper event from a door open or closed event. The SI72XX sensors are sensitive to the component of the magnetic field going from top to bottom of the package. As the sensor approaches the side of the magnet with north facing upwards, the magnetic field goes negative. For a very strong magnetic field, Push PB1 to switch the scale from 20 millitesla to 200 millitesla. All of the SI72XX sensors include temperature compensation for either a low temperature coefficient of sensitivity or a temperature coefficient that is designed to match a particular type of magnet. For the SI7210, it is also possible to read the sensor temperature data. It is possible to measure temperature from the same device that is measuring magnetic field. For example, this is very useful for a security node when both the temperature and open-close information is of interest. With the SI7211 analog sensor connected, select the analog screen. The SI7211 parts have an output that is ratio metric to VDD, so an A to D converter that has VDD as the reference can measure the output. The screen shows the output voltage as a fraction of VDD and the magnetic field calculated with an assumption of the device that has a full scale of 20 millitesla. The SI7212 PWM parts have a pulse width modulated output that varies from 0 to 100% duty cycle. The measured duty cycle as well as the magnetic field is displayed with an assumption that the device has a full scale of 20 millitesla. Scent refers to single edge nibble transmission where the output data is represented as a series of output pulses with varying width. The data is 12 bits consisting of three 4-bit nibbles varying from 0 to 496. The measured nibble data as well as the magnetic field is displayed with the assumption that the device has a full scale of 20 millitesla.